place to move to. In Washington, D.C., Congress talking about how to avoid deadly train crashes in the wake of the December derailment in DuPont, among others. Three people died. More than 100 were injured. The technology that may have been able to stop that from happening, positive train control, hadn't been installed yet because of congressional delay. So yesterday, Washington State Senator Maria Cantwell questioning Amtrak's president and CEO on rail safety and the importance of PTC, positive train control, which railroads are supposed to have had in place uh, before, but are now required to have by the end of the year. It is still uh, something that you would want to have implemented with your engineers. Is that correct? We need to go further than the PTC regulation and establish a standard of 100 percent. If you're a passenger and you get on a train in America, you need to be PTC compliant or PTC equivalent. I just don't think there's any other way to deal with the risk of single human error. Companies can get another extension until 2020 if they meet certain requirements. A committee member says the Department of Transportation has provided close to $3 billion to have positive train control installed.